When I first started investing in property, I made a mistake that nearly derailed my plans. A mistake I didn't even see coming. Let me ask you, are you sure you're prepared for the hidden risks that could quietly drain your wealth? Have you experienced any setbacks yourself? Drop a comment below. I'd love to know what challenges you're facing. My name is Rusty Vapo, and today I'm here to help you avoid the costly mistakes I wish someone had warned me about. In this video, we'll uncover the hidden risks in property investment, the ones most people overlook until it's too late. I'll share the lessons I've learned from my own journey so you can build a secure investment portfolio with confidence. Welcome to Property Investment Insights with Rusty Vapa. I'm the founder of Get Rare Properties, an independent buyer's agency focused on helping Australians build wealth safely and smartly through property. We guide our clients with proven strategies and insights, ensuring they avoid the pitfalls and succeed in navigating investment property challenges. Here on this channel, we'll get straightforward property investment advice, insights into the real estate market in Australia, and practical strategies to tackle property investment risks. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button to stay updated on the latest in Australian property investment. And to those returning, great to see you back. Now, property investing can be a fantastic way to build wealth if you do it right. But here's something that experienced investors know well. Risks and good returns go hand in hand. Investing is a balancing act and it's natural to feel hesitant. But remember, sometimes the biggest risk is not taking any risks at all. If you are able to identify the risks involved, you can mitigate the threats and potential negative impacts, turning challenges into opportunities. Today, I'll be sharing real stories from my experience in Australian property investment, insights on the real estate market in Australia, and the exact steps we use at Get Rare Properties to help clients navigate these risks and avoid costly mistakes. And hey, if you find these insights helpful, don't forget to download my free guide, Wealth Without Worry, the strategic guide to navigating risks in property investing. Just visit getrate.com.au forward slash manage hyphen property hyphen risks or click the link in the description below. We'll keep it right here on the screen so it's easy to find. One of the biggest things we emphasize at Get Real Properties is that property investing isn't about taking huge leaps. It's about taking smart, calculated steps forward. These property investment strategies are what set our clients up for success even when they are facing the challenges of the housing market in Australia. Let me take you back to my early days. I bought this off the plan apartment in Campbelltown, New South Wales, thinking this is going to be a fantastic investment. And honestly, I thought I'd nailed it. And for a while, it was great, until new apartment blocks started popping up and growth stalled. If I knew then what I know now about real estate investment risks, I would have made a different choice. This experience is why I'm passionate about helping others avoid similar pitfalls. So let's dive into those risks and how you can manage them to build a portfolio that grows over time without giving you sleepless nights. Here's the thing. Most investors focus on what a property might earn them, but they don't give as much thought to what might cost them. Without a clear understanding of investment property challenges, you could end up with a property that drains your finances or gets stuck in a stagnant market. But with the right approach, you can avoid those traps and set yourself up for a secure financial future. Today, we'll talk about property investment strategies for managing these risks, from real estate market fluctuations to interest rate to tenant management. And if you haven't already, grab a copy of my free guide, Wealth Without Worry, which goes into even greater details on these strategies. This guide will help you understand your unique risk profile because let's face it, property investment advice isn't one size fits all. It needs to be tailored to your goals and your comfort level with risk. When we talk about real estate investment tips for risk tolerance, it's not just about what you think you can handle. It's about what your finances can actually absorb. Some investors are comfortable with higher risk because they can manage their ups and downs financially, while others prefer a more conservative approach. Knowing your risk profile can help you make smarter decisions. For example, it can influence your choice of property type, whether you lean towards cash flow positive properties or focus on capital growth, or how much you are comfortable spending on an investment. If you had to choose right now, 
would you lean towards a higher risk, higher return property or something more stable? Understanding your preference can make a huge difference in shaping your investment strategy. Now, just a reminder, the content here is journal in nature. Every investor's situation is unique. So it's always a good idea to consult your own advisors before making big financial moves. All right, let's get into the specific types of risk in property investment in Australia and how you can manage each one. First up, market cycles. Think of property markets like waves. They rise and fall. And just like a surfer, the key is to know when to ride the wave and when to wait. Property prices can dip, sometimes for months or even years before they recover. Now, we all remember how the COVID-19 downturn threw everyone off. During that period, national housing values dropped around 7.5%. But by the end of 2022, values had rebounded by over 8% according to Cold Logic. If you are in tune with market cycles, you can spot opportunities like this. Some investors who bought during the downturn saw fantastic gains as the market recovered. Melbourne, for example, is close to the bottom of its cycle now, which could mean it's a good time to consider the market there. For more on that, check out my video on investment in Melbourne in the card above. At Get Rare Properties, we make it our business to monitor these cycles closely and help our clients buy properties that are well positioned to weather the ups and downs. Next, let's talk about legislative risks. Think of government policies like weather patterns. You can't control them, but you need to be prepared. When tax laws or property policies shift, they can impact your returns and even change the profitability of an investment overnight. For example, more than 60% of Australian property investors rely on negative gearing, according to ATO data. If the government removes negative gearing benefits, it could directly affect your cash flow. And that's why it's crucial to stay updated and prepared. I have a video explaining how negative gearing works and what would happen if it were removed. So check that out as well in the card above. Now, if you're new to negative gearing, think of it like this. You're renting out a property and the rent doesn't quite cover all the costs. Like running a business with a small loss that can actually reduce your taxes. But make sure you stay informed because if tax benefits change, it could impact your returns. At Get Ready Properties, we stay on top of these changes and work with our clients' financial advisors to adopt their strategies if needed. Staying informed can mean the difference between a smooth return and a sudden impact on your income. Interest rates can make or break your cash flow. According to the Reserve Bank of Australia, just a 1% increase on a $500,000 loan means an extra $5,000 in annual payments. And while rate cuts can create opportunities, hikes can hit hard if you're not prepared. Pro tip, worried about rising rates? A partial fixed rate loan gives you both stability and flexibility, protecting your cash flow without locking everything in. Take one of my clients, Sandy, for example. Sandy was concerned about interest rate hikes and how they would affect his monthly repayments. We helped him lock in a fixed rate, which stabilized his costs and gave him the confidence to keep growing his portfolio. It's strategies like this that can help manage financial risk effectively. Looking ahead, experts are predicting that rates could lower in the near future, which would create an even stronger opportunity for investors to grow their portfolios. This is something we are keeping a close eye on. And if you want to learn more about how to take advantage of these changes, make sure to watch my next video on how interest rate trends are creating opportunities in today's market. Another key risk is tenant management. High vacancy rates, unreliable tenants, and maintenance costs can quickly add up and eat into your profits. Not the most exciting part of investing, right? But it's essential. Are you investing in an area with strong tenant demand? Or is there a risk of vacancy? Take Nilesh, one of our clients who invested in a high demand suburb. By maintaining strong relationships with his tenants and responding to their needs promptly, he's kept his vacancy rates low and his income steady. So remember, Investing in the right area and focusing on tenant satisfaction can reduce tenant-related risks. One big difference between property and other investments is liquidity. Basically, how quickly you can access your money if needed. Property is an illiquid asset, meaning you can't sell it off quickly without potentially taking a loss. To avoid getting stuck, financial experts recommend keeping a six to 12 month cash buffer. This buffer helps you 
cover any unexpected costs without feeling pressured to sell during a downturn. For instance, one of our clients, Peter, avoided a forced sale during a tough time. That buffer allowed him to hold on to his property, avoid losses, and ultimately ride out the financial strain. Having that liquidity cushion is a game changer in managing this type of risk. Now, some of you might be thinking, what if I just go for a cheaper properties or skip certain steps to save money? But here's the thing, I've seen this backfire far too often. Cutting corners doesn't usually end well. Investing isn't about quick fixes. It's about making informed choices that sets you up for the long haul. In Wealth Without Worry, we have outlined strategies to manage these risks effectively, even if you're working with a smaller budget. There is a massive difference between investing with a well-thought-out strategy and just hoping for the best. At Get Rare Properties, we focus on what we call buying well. That means thorough research, detailed market analysis, and smart property selection. It's about finding properties that are likely to perform well, even in challenging times, rather than just napping up anything available. And this difference, buying well versus buying impulsively, can be the key to building up a portfolio that grows sustainably. We have worked with clients like Linda, who was nervous at first, but ended up securing three properties and gaining over $750,000 in equity. Another couple, Nazir and Ms. Baho, turned their debt around and built a portfolio with over $200,000 in equity. These aren't just one-off cases. They are examples of what a sound risk management approach can do. These clients didn't cut corners. They invested with a clear, calculated plan. Without proper risk management, you are likely to hit roadblocks. You might face forced sales, missed opportunities, or just get stuck with a collection of properties that don't help you achieve your financial goals. But with a proactive approach, you can avoid these setbacks and turn potential risks into strategic advantages. If you are serious about building wealth without worry, I'm offering a personal review session to help you assess your current risk exposure and strategy. We are limiting this to just 20 spots. So if you're ready to take control of your financial future, click the link in the description to secure your spot. And remember to download Wealth Without Worry from getrear.com.au forward slash manage hyphen property hyphen risks. It's got everything we discussed today and more. The link is in the description as well for easy access. Now, keep in mind that everything we covered here today is general in nature. Everyone's situation is different. So before making any big decisions, be sure to consult your advisors. So, is the fear of risk holding you back from investing? Let's start a conversation. Share your thoughts below. You never know, your insights might just help another viewer make a smarter choice. And if this video gave you value, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with someone who could benefit from learning about the hidden risks of property investing. Let's build a community of informed investors who are ready to tackle risks and build wealth together. And once you understand your risk profile, we'll see how changes in interest rates can create big opportunities in property investment. Click here to check out my next video on how interest rate trends are creating investment opportunities today.